St. Louis leaders proudly raising the Pan-African flag celebrating the start of Black History Month. Here on First Alert for this month, we are highlighting black arts and culture and its impacts on the St. Louis area. And our Justin Andrews kicks off our series introducing us to a fashionista creating a walkway for community and setting the standard of the Metro. Rebellious, beautiful, protective, resilient. No matter where she is. Fashion to me is just a way to tell everyone who you are. Portia Key will make room for a runway. You get to choose how you want to present in the world every day. Her fashion fuels her freedom. I'm able to be completely free with my creativity. This is my favorite right now. I, you can point this thing out. <laughs> I now. love it. So what we got here? <laughs> so what I do when I dress is I'm all about a theme. Portia says stitching art and fashion together is who she is. The thing that gets me through is fashion, is style, is being able to glamorize, you know, pieces of your life. Art is so deeply infused in this city. Which is why more than a decade ago, she created St. Louis-based e-boutique La Femme Rebelle clothing. It feels special. St. Louis feels special. I think St. Louis is a place that if you love them, they'll love you back. The Ann Arbor, Michigan native loves the Lou and lives her brand. Her showroom, intentionally nestled in the heart of downtown St. Louis's garment district on Washington Ave, housed inside what was once the Missouri Pearl Button Company, the first button company in the state. Inspired daily just by the people that are down here. Her bold and bright showroom allows black women a space for private fittings, content creation, and to shine simply because you can. I want to create a space that's different than a retail space. Portia's art goes far beyond finding fashions. She's also a civil engineer for the Illinois Department of Transportation. Engineering is about cost efficiently solving problems, and I think that I take that approach with fashion as well. I definitely think it's an art. In her engineering role, she helps draft solutions by analyzing the traffic needs in the Metro East and engaging with the community to help solve traffic problems. Show the students that engineers can look like me. They can look like you. There's not much research on black women in STEM, but according to the American Society of Civil Engineers, only 3% of engineers in 2019 were black or Latinx women. However, Portia's experience is different. There are a ton of black women engineers in the department. Her day job allows her to go out to schools to recruit, to amplify minorities in her field. I love it because I get to work with the community. So no matter what space you find Portia in, one thing is certain. I can be different people in different spaces. And that's art. Creating confidence or creating solutions, this bold black woman patching her passions and designing a runway for others. I'm kind of just like creating the way as I'm as I'm doing it. In St. Louis, Justin Andrews, First Alert 4. <laughs>